Hi, it's Pastor Ann. Today is St. Patrick's Day. It is Tuesday, March 17th. I tried to find something green today. All I could find was this bluish green shirt. I don't want to get pitched. St. Patrick was a real person. St. Patrick was born in the year 385 in the British Isles. So he lived a long, long time ago. And at the age of 16, he was taken from his land and he went to be a slave in Ireland. He was only 16 years old. But in those years in which he was working hard for other people, he discovered the love of God and the love of Jesus. He devoted his life to God and decided to become a pastor, a priest. And he even went back to the people who had captured him in Ireland and he preached to them about Jesus' love. It's a great story and that's why we celebrate St. Patrick. He overcame a lot of hardship and he still found faith and hope and love. And he wanted to share that with other people. My kids today, Rowan and Lena, are reading a couple of books on St. Patrick. We may even see if Amazon has a video. I also wanted to share with you this shamrock that I have. Now, Lena loves to look for a four-leaf clover, but this is a three-leaf clover. And in Christianity, we say that it represents the Trinity. The Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is creator and is Jesus Christ and as our comforter. So it is three in one flower. Sometimes it's hard for us to understand, even us adults, how God could be three persons in one. But that is our belief in the Trinity and it's something that St. Patrick taught. And so we associate this shamrock with St. Patrick. And we remember that God comes to us as our father and as our creator, as our good parent. That God comes to us as Jesus, who loves us and teaches us and saves us. And comes to us as the Holy Spirit, who comforts us and sustains us, especially in these days. So I hope that you have a happy St. Patrick's Day and find something green to wear. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.